What I'm realizing Business is that problem. this is the problem that impacts all scaling companies. The challenge is it's like just doing more work doesn't solve the problem. Right. So hey, I'm AI computers. <coughs> Renee, so you know what's going on here is uh, I've suggested that we collectively as a, as a team write a book. And the title I've got So right Maps now, will be the title and the author. No, it'll be the author. Ah, uh -huh. it's it isn't in the title. Oh, it's not in the title. <laughs> what I've got it as right now is skip it dot 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 flip it dot 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 rip it now. <laughs> Did anybody like that? Yeah. It sounds like a seventies commercial, like bop it. I, I twist it. Happen. If you can't keep up, twist it. you lose. Okay, I'm okay with bop it, twist it, pull it. We'll put that as a second possibility. For the title? Something, yeah. Bop, was it bop it? How does maps fit into that? Are you trying maps. to market this thing not to sell or what? <laughs> bop it, twist it. I'm open to suggestions. That end. Is this like live action role play? What's bop happening right it, now? Twist it, what was the last thing? <laughs> Feelings of abundance. It's a fair point, Morse. Okay, can that get forwarded to Mr. Bennett, please? So that he can... I'll forward it to Mr. Ford first to see if he's okay with us making that change. Because I am the patriarch. Is that like a dictatorship or patriarch? Almost sounds... Every, sac every sac person experiences the patriarchy in their own unique way. Yeah, then would it be a good idea to have that stated in here that Ford is the patriarch? Right on the CPR. All hail is the patriarch, Alexander. So maybe that's a requirement. Until really, until that had happened, I believe this team floundered because it, it was it was missing the leadership. The man who was ready to grab his balls and step up and say, "I'm the fucking patriarch." So well done. Thank was you. I here for that meeting? Thanks for coming out, Mars. Well, kind of just evolved. Always a pleasure, Luke. Cool. Who's next? I just got a really good uh, chapter hit. Pregnant pauses. Alex, it seems like it's, I have a feeling that it's time for you to check in. Is it? It's not a bad time. Is it okay if I simply do a chapter that's called Alexander Ford, our patriarch? <laughs> yeah, go right ahead. That sounds like a really good idea. <laughs> I love that. All hail, Chapters. all hail Alexander Ford, wow. our our loving and glorious patriarch. Okay, so I will look into that. So can I perhaps do start that right now, right here? Actually, that's another chapter yet. Right now, right here. Can I go now? Are you sure? Yes. That was a yes. I don't know, it didn't really sound like a yes because you didn't jump out of your chair. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Oh, good call, good call. That's one the reason I show up for these jolly on meetings. I missed the coaching. It's kind of lonely out there in the truth desert. That's a chapter head. What's that? It's lonely out there in the, would you say truth desert? Yes, okay. Is Has anybody got a way I can write this? These are like the worst sleepovers. <laughs> Sleeping is three in the morning, and we're just like. I see this thing making us millions. Definitely not. How come? Books don't make money, Morris. The wives you want, I think, get it cut in. I, I just realized they get cut in for a piece of this. Anyways, it is your check. <laughs> training programs. <laughs> Got it. Are these training programs and videos like? Stop feeding the fucking. <laughs> <girls around the book? laughs> yes. <laughs> Stop feeding the Stop monster. feeding the troll. <laughs> hey, another chapter head, Morris. Stop feeding the troll. <laughs> what is it? Stop feeding the troll. Oh, my Jesus. We may have a couple of books here. What do I want to check in on? We are um, working diligently on restructuring and or clarifying the assignments of accountabilities in the business in such a way that I am sort of like not in charge of anything, except like the one thing. 
It's hard to be in charge of the one thing without making it be like I'm in charge of all the little things in such a way that uh, the business in general does a much better job at putting me to work properly. The result of that has been freedom in a way of me operating in such a way that when I'm asked to do something I can just do the thing and I'm sort of letting go of uh, having to keep track of stuff. How come what? How come you just told us that? What was in behind that? Like how come that was important? Because it's the number one problem in my life. Which is what? challenge has been that as we've increased in complexity there have been an exponentially increasing number of things that have to be remembered and noticed and because no other people have been directly assigned to remembering and noticing those things I was attempting to carry the burden of remembering and noticing all of the things which is impossible and so therefore then I was essentially failing Carrying the burden of all the details. No, not details. Accountability. Accountability. Which is about remembering and noticing. Like, the thing is, in the business, there's hundreds of these passive systems where something can appear, and if nobody goes and checks in the bucket for the stuff that's appeared, then it just sits in the bucket. Is It's fine if it sits in the bucket for a couple days, but it goes from unimportant, 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 severe fuck-up every one of those is like a hockey stick of, of of how it impacts the business it's like it doesn't matter if you missed it it doesn't matter if you missed it and then by the time it does matter it has fucking wrecked something and the challenge is that every time one of those things is missed in such a way that something goes ballistic the recovery effort on fixing the, the part where someone just went ballistic involves a whole bunch of fucking labor effort and a whole bunch of then cleanup every time you don't hit the fucking gopher on time. It exponentially magnifies the amount of work necessary to clean up the fucking mess. When this time we don't have to fucking begin with. What we've realized is that by identifying and applying accountabilities to these passive systems and having someone just be, have a checklist, check this, check this, check this, and you're the only person in charge of checking this, and you're the only person in charge of checking this. When all of those things are checked, then the things don't go ballistic and then the labor effort behind all the ballistic events disappears. And so really, we've reduced labor burden on the whole system by being proactive in checking instead of reactive in applying labor against failures. And so the key to that whole thing was a definition and accountability. What does accountability mean? How do you assign accountability to people in such a way that they understand it? How do you identify all the passive systems in a business that's, that requires unnecessary human accountability? And how do we get an inventory of those things and we're, be certain that 100% of them are being checked? We've been working hard on defining these accountabilities and it's making a difference in our business. Worry is a byproduct of unassigned accountabilities. And so I'm, I'm becoming free of that. So it's actually the burden of accountability, burden of labor, and most importantly, burden of worry. Correct, because when I hold all the accountabilities and I know for sure I'm missing some, then I'm worried thing to be talking to Alexander about is that Alexander attracts people into his life who are obsessed with proving to the world that nobody cares about them. What is it in Alex that's attracting this? My compulsion not to give up on people. My compulsion to not wanting to be given up on. My driving insecurity in life, my number one void is the concept of people giving up on me. Being given up on me. The only way people know how to cope with someone like is to fucking give up on him. And I'm the one person in this world that in spite of him, literally putting me in a position that any other person in my position would fucking burn the relationship down. I won't. Which is what makes me successful in life. It's my fucking persistence. It's what gives me my work ethic. It's what causes me to lead my fucking team. It's why I have eight people working 50 hour weeks to fucking be able to contribute to this company that nobody fucking knows where it's going, but for some reason they want to be here. All of that comes from my compulsion to not give up on shit. I asked a question right from the very start around this, and it would be really good to answer. You know, there isn't nothing to fix here. It's just how I feel it. <laughs> And then we could have moved on a little bit quicker. Hi guys, thank you for watching Daily Genius number 70. Um, I hope you learned a little something about accountability in this episode. So make sure to leave a comment if you got any questions about that or anything.
Jamie's hiding. That's really amusing. Okay. Um, also, if you're looking forward to seeing more about Morris's book, <laughs> we're going to have updates for you. So make sure and leave a comment if you're curious about that because I'm curious about it and I was there. <laughs> Jen thinks that's funny. Is that funny, Jen? Super funny. Super funny. All right. Thank you for watching, guys. And we'll see you tomorrow for Daily Genius number 71. No, you're